Welcome back to Z Tutorials, and today I have a quick little update video for you guys on the Green Poison Jailbreak from the Chronic Dev team. Now, basically, it has got an update and uh, it supports new devices like the iPod Touch 2G, MC, and MB model. Also, I want to give you guys a warning about some fake websites. So, we're going to go into that with a bit of detail, so let's get started. So first off I want to tell you guys about a down download link. Now there has been some fake websites out there and I want to just let you know that it's very important that you only download from www.greenpoison.com. That poison is with a zero for the O at the end in between the S and the N. There has been fake websites like greenpoison.info and all them kind of stuff where they basically are trying to get your personal information from your computer. So it's very important that you visit the link in the description or type it in correctly into the URL bar. It's, you can download it for Mac, Linux and Windows machines. That has been supported. Now, what device has been supported for you guys who don't know, um, from the start it has been supporting the iPod Touch 4G, 4th generation, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3G, the iPad running firmware 3.2.2, all of the iPhones and iPod Touches can be jailbreaking on firmwares 4.1 and 4.0. I would advise you to upgrade to 4.1 because it's just better um, but don't update, update to a later version in case that comes out by the time you're watching this video now it has added support for the iPod Touch 2G MC model and the iPod Touch 2G MB model this is very important because as you know Red Snow were the first ones to release it for the 2G models and uh, it hasn't been working very well it actually has been quite a disaster so it's very important that you use it with Green Poison and uh, it does work, it's very very good and uh, I'm glad to report that they are all untethered which means that um, if it was to be tethered you would have to connect it to iTunes every time you want to reboot your device you would just get a weird um, connect to iTunes logo and you'd have to re-jailbreak it to use your device again but now that it's untethered you can turn on and turn off and reboot your device as much as you want without any problems so that's very important there as I said you need to have firmware 4.1 and 4 or 4.0 to uh, jailbreak with these devices and it's good to see that Green Poison are working hard to fix out all the problems that people have been experiencing and uh, I was planning on releasing a video for you guys going through the jailbreaking process on my own iPod Touch 2G and iPod Touch uh, 3G but uh, I ordered a camera and it didn't come yet and it's three weeks down the line so I'm very very sorry about that um, I had expected it to be here by now but it hasn't come so uh, I am sorry about that so yeah go and download Green Poison right now from greenpoison.com and uh, you can download it for Windows, Mac or Linux machines and it should work fine let me know in the comment section below what you think so that's it for this video you guys thank you all for watching if you want to check out my last video which was a little photoshop tutorial for those of you guys who are into graphic design you can check out that there or you can check out my next video which is um, I think it's going to be on the Apple Keynote so you can check out that there or you can subscribe to be updated with all my latest videos and jailbreaking news I do upload regular videos so you guys I hope you do enjoy them for those who are subscribed thank you very much I do appreciate it and I'm gonna leave you guys here so thank you all for watching and this is Z Tutorials signing out